Honourable Member for Victoria. A Senate report has just concluded that Canadians who use cannabis after it's legalized and try to cross the border to the United States could be denied entry. But worse, those who don't answer certain questions in pre-clearance could face up to two years in prison under Bill C-23, calling it resisting or willfully obstructing an American officer, even on Canadian soil. Can the Prime Minister confirm whether or not Canadians who simply refuse to answer American officers in Canada about their cannabis use could face fines or imprisonment? Right Honourable Prime Minister. Uh, let me be very clear about one thing, Mr. Speaker. The reason we are moving forward on legalization of marijuana is because the current system does not work. It doesn't protect our kids from the harmful impact of marijuana, and it delivers billions of dollars every year to criminal organizations who make profits off of that. Uh, we are uh, also highlighting that cannabis isn't somehow a positive health food supplement that we encourage everyone to use. It is a controlled substance. We're trying to make it more difficult for kids to access, and people need to be honest when they cross the border uh, as they uh, choose to enter a different country. Hello. Order. 